another edition of Casanote's Kitchen. This music is totally inappropriate because today we're making crepes. And crepes is a traditionally French dish from the city of Brittany. With us is Volcan. He's driving. <laughs> and Brandy. Hi, Brandy. How's it going? Um, you're not used to the sign I made. You can put all kinds of things in it. The French like to put uh, sugary stuff, which we're going to do. We're going to make about five or six different varieties, some with sugar and fruit and uh, others with cheeses and other ingredients like spinach and onions and things like that. Um, yeah, so uh, stay tuned. And this is how you like crepes, by the way. Okay, so the crepe. You start out with a bowl and uh, one cup of flour leveled off. Next thing you want to add are two eggs. You want to start beating that uh, together with a whisk. <laughs> Brandy, can I, you assist me? And can you pour oh, the absolutely. Can you pour the milk in there slowly? Uh, now can you pour in a, a cup of, a half a cup of water, same thing, thing level, and then uh, slowly pour it in. I'm also going to add two tablespoons of softened butter. This has been sitting out, so it's nice and soft. Thank you, Brandy. That's a wonderful job you're doing. Yeah, I'm pretty much natural. I want to get this nice and pancakey. And pancakey. It's going to be kind of runny, but that's okay. Crepe should be thin thin as you can get them. Brandy, uh -huh. can you measure out one quarter teaspoon of salt? Thank you. Uh -huh. And that's it. Once again, it's one cup of flour, half a cup of milk, half a cup of water, a quarter teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of softened butter. And two eggs. And two eggs. <laughs> Thank you, the two eggs, I forgot. Okay, I've blended up the batter. It's nice and smooth now. And uh, what you want to do is store that in the refrigerator. You can store it overnight, is okay. Um, or just for an hour or so. And uh, just like other cooking shows, I made this ahead of time, so we got two. Because we're going to be making about six or seven, maybe eight uh, different crepes. Heat on the pan is very important. I got two. We're going to try out these and see which one maybe works better. This will make a little bigger one. And uh, you want to have it on a medium heat and uh, let the pan get uh, very warm. Okay. Now, when you go to a restaurant, they use a stick and they uh, spread it around very, very thin. But when you're doing this at home and you just have your more and more and more of the whole thing, don't. You gotta, you gotta hold it and and move it around at the same time as you're pouring. Okay, that's enough. We're making brie and strawberries, so this is really soft and hard to use brie. And these are our sliced and pre-sugared strawberries. And over here, I'm doing uh, blue cheese. And uh, we have no idea how this is going to taste. Blue cheese. <clears throat> Arugula, which is a very distinct kind of lettuce, distinct flavor, and uh, spinach again. You want some onions in there? Babe? Yes, please. Okay. This, you want to check the bottom, make sure this one looks good. So we're going to run with this. And, and, okay, back over here. This one, you just keep the flame on. You don't have to turn the flame off. Nice. Wow, look at the size of that. <laughs> you want to use a spatula that is not going to melt as soon as it hits the pan. If you use one of those, it will melt as soon as it hits the pan. We know that this is hot enough because it's starting to bubble. That means there's air underneath it. That's good. Okay, when you flip it, you just want to get that spatula underneath it. Grab it with your fingers real quick hot. and flip it over. Hot. It's not hot at all, so it's fine. Just grab it with your fingers. Ow. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, or okay. 
We're okay. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Cut. So you're putting down some butter so the sugar will stick. Over here I'm putting feta and spinach. And then you just put the cinnamon and sugar. And red onion. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you make a cinnamon and sugar mixture and just put that on top of the butter. And that's it. That's all the ingredients. Why do you think I'm funny, Michael? I said it might be funny. I didn't. Because you're left-handed. Oh yeah, that kind of ruins everything. You're already doing it wrong. Pour it quickly. <laughs> Keep tilting, keep tilting. It's done. You want to make sure that it's spread. Um, this is going to work, don't worry. Yeah, it's because you're left handed, it's not your fault. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What are you putting on there? Strawberries. Non-sugared strawberries? Non-sugared. I don't like sugar and chocolate together. Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm missing it. Give the master now. <laughs> and I'm turning on the coffee maker because we're going to have coffee with our grapes. You know what this is? This is Nutella with hazelnut. The best thing in the world. I think this is the first uh, breakfast we've done on Casanova Day's Kitchen. Of course, the French probably eat crepes all day long, so there's no rule. You don't have to eat crepes for breakfast, uh, depending on how you feel, you know? Maybe you don't want bread onions for breakfast. What makes you think the French eat them all day long? Because the French do all things all day long, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, sorry. Ready when you are, guys. I'm ready. We got. We all have a little piece of uh, each of them. So which one are you eating? I gotta know which ones you're eating. I'm eating the cinnamon and sugar one. Okay, go. Okay, go. This is the feta. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Cats and Dumb Days Kitchen.